I really need to go bang my head if I say that IT is Hello, my name is Julian. I'm from IT College Central. Hi, my name is Waiman. I'm from IT College East. Hi, my name is Ian and I was in IT College Central. Hi, I'm Yong Kang. I was from IT College West. Hi, my name is Darius and I was from IT College Central. Do you think there's a difference between junior colleges, polytechnics and IBEs in Singapore? We know that JCs are very like prim and proper, very secondary school like. Polytechnics are very university like. And ITE right, it's sort of in between in terms of culture because there is a sort of like structure but at the same time it's a little more flexible. They are not too strict like JC or secondary school. Mm. So I guess that's like the major difference culturally. Yeah. Academically, JCs focus on theory, yeah. theoretical knowledge, yeah. academics, whereas IT is more like some people do still have exams mm. like those people in business and whatnot. For me luckily no exams are <laughs> it's all hands on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I think the most easiest thing is like you just follow the lecturer's instruction and set already. For the differences, right, I really feel that like for JCs is literally what they say an upgraded version of secondary school but for IT and poly, everything starts from day one. Your GPA starts counting. But I think uh, the, the thing that it helps is that between the IT and poly versus JC, right, is that when we graduate, we get skills from our internship. Whereas like JC, they will just get the qualification paper. But then when they enter uni, then they will get the experience. So in a way, we have to get start in terms of the experience and skills. Do you agree that IT students are less academically inclined than JC and poly students? Actually, everybody that I ever encountered in my IT years, all of them are very different. Some lean more towards the practical side, like they are much more better in practical, whereas like the some others are actually much more better in theory. While most likely all of us choose IT, it's either because we have a last choice or we cannot study very well. It also depends uh, because I thought I couldn't study very well, but then when I enter IDE, I find that some of my mods is actually quite easy to like understand everything compared to like my other mods. I think that it's not the case because I have classmates scoring GPA 4 and 3.8 and all that. I think it's just a stereotype that people say IT people cannot study, IT people are gangsters and all that. I think as long as you work hard and put in effort to like want to study and willing to learn, I think it's achievable lah. It's a great place to grow up. I'm a living testament because I also got like, I think my first GPA was 4. Then, um, <laughs> yeah, and then like because of that, right, that kind of like started a whole entire trend. So like in IT, there are like programs like the Sparks program, the ACE program. Basically, they are programs that are created to develop students holistically outside the classroom. Do you think there are stigmas or stereotypes revolving around IT students? Okay, uh, what are they and what do you have to say about this? People have this stereotype that IT students are gangsters, they don't know how to study, they just go to school to sleep, all that kind of thing. It's not exactly true, but obviously, even in JC, even in secondary school, there's definitely people that will sleep in class, la, let's be honest. I'm one of them. <laughs> <laughs> For me right, I think cause my family have those older generation mindsets where IT is like very bad students and I think because of IT College West where I chose, they have that slashing case. So I think everyone just stereotype IT as like very bad students. But I think when you go there, you mix with the correct people, you have the correct social circle. I think it'll be very fun for you. Turns out for me that I think everyone enjoy IT life here yeah. and it's really very, very fun. I think there's a stigma is because of the older generation. Because yeah. mm -hmm. a lot of things happen in the older generation. Generation. I think there's more acceptance now because there are a lot of IT students who, you know, after they graduate, they go on to do a lot of things and like some even like finish their degrees or so, yeah. which is very commendable. But really, uh, I'm quite blessed to have my parents supporting me. Back then, when I, when I went to IT, it was 2014. So the stigma back then was, I think, quite bad, I guess. So when I told my parents that I want to go to IT and into a course that is not that mainstream, like media, back then, like media, you should not media, right? 
Yeah, like, yeah, I want to go here. Yeah, okay, sure. As long as like, you know what to do, as long as you know that you can excel in it, then go for it. IT students have no future. What do you think about this statement? I think it's a very, it's a completely false statement to say that IT students won't have future because there are some IT students, regardless of NITEC or higher NITEC, they actually started, you know, their own businesses. Then they go on to, you know, pursuing degrees or so in the future. And I, I, I think that, you know, this basically proves the whole entire statement wrong. Uh. I don't know why, but maybe older generations along the way, they just have this stigma that IT maybe because of slashing case or toilet bowling and whatever, but all these success stories like IT student going through med school in NUS, graduated, but just couldn't get through the older generation people. Have you ever regretted being in an ITE or no. going to an ITE? I think I made way more friends than I thought I would because in secondary school it's all about studying and people won't really like help you out. Lah. But when I come to IT, I was so surprised that like if I meet a problem or something that I don't know how to solve, I will just go to my friends for help and they will just willingly help me. I really feel that IT is just the perfect place. It's just, I think throughout my 21 years of memory, I think IT is like the most ached into my heart because it's like friends, your lecturers and the different kind of opportunities that IT will send you for. During my time in IT, like, it's a place where I discover myself. I discover my passion not only in filmmaking but also my hobby in dance. Yeah, I think IT is a very good place for everyone to grow and I think someone mentioned that IT is a good place to kind of decide on where you want to go in the future. Starting out in ITE, I studied visual effects and then um, I also became an exco student council. I, I was in charge of like media stuff. So that kind of helped me reorganize my thoughts about pursuing filmmaking. So that's why I later pursued mass communication. So it's it's a way to kind of filter through what you want to do in the future. And also like, I think I really need to go bang my head if I say that IT is not a good place. Cause like through IT, I actually got a lot of opportunities to grow not only in the classroom, but outside. How is or was the school culture in your IT? I don't know if you guys agree with me or not, but I think right, even within the colleges, right? Different faculties, different schools have their own unique culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Because I know that Central, like School of Design and Media, is the culture is vastly different from like School of Engineering. I will always see like engineering students. They are always in groups. I don't know why. Like, I think it depends on like how close they are. Because yeah. I think I think that all schools have it lah, like big group of friends and whatnot. Uh, I thought it was a business thing. You always see like five, six people in. The walking around, that engineering also the same. Even in terms of like the different schools, right? I, I feel, uh, I feel design students, they are more like quieter. They're not as loud as like say engineering or yeah. business. Business, they are very closely knitted, like school culture wise. Uh. For my class, I think we either have one man or two man solo group or like super big cliques, like seven, eight people in one big yeah. group. And like, I think for like what he said just now, the different schools have different kind of school culture. I think for SEIT people, we have one, very good term go home club after school we just go home like unlike different other schools where they tend to really bond with like in their CCAs and so on I think for my course we do have cliques here and there but then when we we're doing projects we will come together no matter which clique you are from we will just like okay you know what let's do this okay you need any help you need any help it's very helpful in my course uh, like I can say for my course uh, so it's very really helpful so it's like say I sometimes you don't even need to ask for their help they will come to you are you, are you okay you need help what are your plans after IBE? I haven't actually decide whether what course to actually take in poly. I think your batch would be a little more fun. Because when I first went to poly, right, it was when the COVID situation slowly started to worsen. To worsen oh. yeah. So like everything was all online. So for me, I would want to pursue further study in polytechnic and then if I can, I can, I want to continue to uni. I am not exactly sure now, now that I'm in polytechnic. I am thinking of pursuing some kind of a business degree um, but I'm also a bit torn about studying in local uni or private uni or you know even overseas uni Watch the video <laughs> <laughs> I watch uni, I watch everything yeah. Life's hard Okay so for me, I'm currently in year 3 5 years of cyber security and it's like endless of coding and programming and I hate it <laughs> So maybe like after I graduate, I'd like to switch to media course Right now, I actually have a side business also, video production business, so I do other stuff. My goals, I guess, is I want to be a self-employed like video production company. So right now, I'm just like learning on the go, learning from 
my future school hopefully in the degree that I want to take see already on the road to success <laughs> hopefully hopefully <laughs> IT success story. Yes, yeah. yes. Life yes. example. See you on the newspaper. Yeah. <laughs> General advice for those who just finished their O-levels or N-levels. I, I think it's good to have an open mind. Even after a lot of research, if you're still not sure, go with something that you feel like you want to. Because when I was in secondary school, I wanted to pursue filmmaking. So that's why I went into visual effects. But then it turns out, I don't like visual effects. And then that's when I decided to pursue mass comm. And then after mass comm, I'm also thinking of pursuing business. So not everything is solid. Not everything is set in stone. So just go with what you want right now. And then once you gained more experience, you can slowly think about it. Uh. Don't feel discouraged if you cannot get into the course that you want or even if you cannot go to polytechnic, you have to go to IT. It's fine. IT is really fun and you can make friends with a lot of people. Don't like pressurize yourself in like, okay, I need to get this done by this age or I need to get this. Don't rush your timeline. Passion or interest is really very important because I can't imagine like studying two years with regrets to what kind of areas that I'm looking for. Take a chill pill if you really need and just have passion for what you're studying. Good luck. Thank you for watching this video. We hope that you learn more about ITE in Singapore. Make sure to like, share and subscribe. And hit the notification bell. And we'll see you again soon. Bye! Bye.